Start up the camera ship. Stop recording. All right. Hey, boys. What up? Today, we're going to be reviewing the iPhone accessibility features for visually impaired and blind people. So, let's get started with it. Um, the first thing I want to do is talk about voiceover. Voiceover is a screen reader built in by Apple because in 2009, Steve Jobs who invented the iPhone, said we should be making all our phones accessible to not just sighted people, but to blind people and visually impaired people. And not only did iPhone do that, but Android started picking up on that. And every other phone, um, except for flip phones, of course. But, <laughs> heck, no one was using flip phones in 2009. That's, like, way out of line, like, not something I usually see around, um, most people have, like, the Pro Max iPhone 11 or 12, 5G, but, yeah, um, anyway, so voiceover talks, let's get started with, um, I don't know if any of you know it, but for voiceover, you can actually change the voice that will speak out loud uh, whatever your finger is on. So, um, how you do that is, one, tap on settings. Two, tap on accessibility. If you have an iPhone below iOS 13, tap on general, and then tap on accessibility. When you're in the accessibility menu, tap voiceover at the top of the screen tap speech, and tap voice. And um, there's a number of voices you can choose from, like English Australia, Australia English UK, English United States, um, and so on, you know. Um, and if you're not, if you don't speak English, then you can actually, there's different voice for voices, so what you can do um, is go to general, language and region, and then you can change your language in that menu. Um, and, yeah. So that's how you change the voice on iPhone. And then when you get the one you want, you can tap on it to select it. And there are some enhanced voices that are better quality. You can also choose those. Um, now with the voiceover, you can do a two-finger scrub gesture on the screen. Um, like this. I'll kind of show you. This is my camera. And that will take you back to the previous menu without you having to tap the back button. Um, and with voiceover, there's actually a new thing called help. Four finger double tap on the screen, and you can touch anywhere on the screen. It'll say touch, speak item, and then you can double tap. It's just to get used to it. Um, and if you actually go into the voiceover menu, it will give you some basic tips for voiceover. Um... And then, yeah, that's how voiceover pretty much works. You can also um, turn on different features that will maybe go over in a different video. Um, and now next is um, magnifier. Magnifier is, like, very good for low vision. Um, I'm not a low vision user, so I can't really describe magnifier. <laughs> but you can probably find that on a different YouTube video. Uh, if I find any, I will add it into the description below and refer you to that video if you want to find out what magnifier is. And then zoom, um, um, you, I kind of know a bit about zoom. So you swipe fi three fingers right to go, like, scroll right on the screen, also move right, and then left, not just one finger. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you use zoom, but, um... Yeah, and I'm going to let everyone know. I am also doing a Zoom call meeting on Sunday next, like next Sunday at 3.15 uh, p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So if you want to join in, then I will add the meeting ID link in the description and you can join my meeting. If you're um, blind, visually impaired, or just, you know, want to learn how to use it in case you 
want to work with blind people, anything really. Um, but yeah, I will we'll put the links in the description below. And in the meantime, have a good day, guys, and peace out. Stop recording. Stop. Stop recording. Bye.